Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Another rainy day. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say. There are no words. It just does not stop raining here in the UK. Um, I think everyone's feeling it now. The problem is you get jobs backing up with um, resanding and applying biocide and things like that. Anyway, I'll stop going on about that. So I'm here um, working for a lovely guy who uh, found me on um, YouTube. So uh, his name's Paul. Hello, Paul, if you're watching. Um, so he's got a block paved driveway. I quoted this um, by email. He sent over some um, excellent measurements and I've arrived and they look absolutely spot on. So I'm not even gonna measure it or anything like that. He's got that absolutely right. So um, I have explained to Paul that um, because of this non-stop rain, um, look, obviously I can clean it today, uh, get the hypo down, just make sure everything's nice and looking clean. But um, it's almost impossible that I'm gonna get the sand in. I will not be. <laughs> I will not be getting the sand in today. Um, so I will have to come back when I can. And he has kindly offered, because I think his main objective was, and correct me if I'm wrong, Paul, but I think it's just because you wanted it clean. Um, he, uh, Paul has offered to actually re-sand it himself, which actually benefits me. So um, ultimately it costs me more in having to come back um, than if I just reduce the cost reduce the price accordingly, uh, leave him some sand, um, and uh, yeah, it, that, that actually does work out better for me. So thank you, Paul, I really appreciate you doing that for me. Anyway, enough waffle, let's go and have a walk around. His driveway's pretty bad. I mean, I've seen worse, but uh, it's, um, it's turning black, and it just needs a good clean. Okay, here we are. Let's turn you around. Here we are. Block paving. Walls are green. We'll take care of that for Paul. Yeah, look. It's turning black. Weeds dotted about. Drainage there. I did ask Paul whether that's uh, working very well. He said it does. So happy days there. Okay, so lots of um not sure what these are, crab apples? Crab apples? Probably I don't know. Anyway. Are they? Anyway, they need sweeping up, so I'll sweep all that up. And round here. Excuse me, sniffly today. So all that needs taken care of. We'll just put some hypo on there. And up there. So yeah, nice straightforward job. So you should have this um, done within about, I don't know, four hours, maybe less. I'll get the wall tops for him as well, and that. Yeah. Cool, that weed. Just pull that out now. Oh, it's growing out the actual container. Okay. Let's get set up and get cracking. So I should explain what this is here and that I'm never going to get rid of it because 
it's not to do with this that's your drain pipe from the gutters up on the roof that is obviously a waste or overflow pipe from a sink i'm assuming and that is tap water which is obviously hard water and it forms a sort of calcite crust um, there is nothing i can do about that the only way to get rid of that would be media blasting yes brick acid might lighten it a little bit but definitely wouldn't get rid of it all there's just no way it's it's formed a very thick crust that ain't coming off unless i media blast it and uh that's that's just a, a whole lot of different equipment that i haven't got with me and it's quite expensive so um i, I don't think he's going to mind uh but i will explain to him that that's not coming off unless i media blast it so anyway I'm pretty much ready to go but one thing i do need to do before i start is lower the arm on my um, flat surface cleaner because yesterday i was cleaning tarmac and i needed it nice and high so there's not so much pressure now a lot of guys ask me how i get my um surface cleaner to rip out all the weeds this is basically how i do it it's very simple i just slam the arm to the ground um a lot of guys will have i don't know 15 degree nozzles or 25 degree nozzles i have 40s all the time i don't bother with the 25s or the 15 because the arm is so low to the ground you want the the the, the angle of the nozzle to be as wide as possible and it means it's, there's less chance of scarring so uh there is the bolt so let's see i'm not going to get this i'm not filming i'm doing something at the same time I told you I was no good at this. Okay. So, that's loose. So you can see where the arm is now. That's good for tarmac. Now I'm gonna lower it. Oh, there you go. That's about where I want it. 
using uh, on tarmac, uh, on block paving. So that's what you do. All you do is just lower it. Um, and I find having 40s is best because if you have 25s or 15s, it's more likely to scar. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I do. Just tighten this up again, and we are ready to rock. Sounds like it's about to explode. Anyway, that's done. There you go, nice and low, ready for block paper.
pretty sure they are crab apples. What do you reckon?
Okay, so I've just got the bulk of the slop up. Um, I've still got to go around and do the edges. Um, the wall tops. These little bits. Now, I put my turbo on. I turn the pressure right down. I'm going to give it a little test. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> right, so I'm going to give it a little test. Um, if I think there's any risk of damaging the pointing, then I'll swap to my fan nozzle. But it looks like, just feeling it, it looks really solid. So I don't think it's going to be an issue. So yeah, uh, like I said, uh, edges, walls, bottom, concrete bottoms there. And then we'll have a good rinse down and get some strong high power on it. I want it strong because I want to kill off the weeds. Um, oh, that's what I was going to say. As you can see, look, all the weeds, all gone. I mean, don't get me wrong, you'll have little bits stubborn little bits that are in there that you want us to go over with the turbo but there won't be many so that's how you want to be setting up your whirl away to get rid of weeds um yeah ah that's one thing i'm gonna have to be careful of i'm gonna have to wet them thoroughly before i start with the hypo because they are untreated and any wood that's untreated will be bleached so um yeah just have to be a little bit careful around them. Anyway, let's stop talking and get these edges done.
Right, the sun's come out now. Lovely. Right, so these walls they are absolutely caked in black spot and it looks like it's been there a long time. Um, the walls were just a bit of a freebie, so look, I'm going to treat them, but I'm not optimistic. I don't think that's going to come off. Some of it will, but a lot of it won't. Um, oh, missed a bit. Oh well, I'll get that on rinse down. Okay, so um, there's plenty of black spot on it around the chamfered edges and on the top of the blocks. So it definitely needs a hypo treatment, but. Apart from that, it's looking pretty nice. Yeah.
guess what? Raining again. Will it ever end? Anyway, enough of that. Uh, so, I'm done. Um, let's show you what I've done. So, wall's looking much better. Uh, it's not perfect. Um, the pointing and the bricks themselves are not super strong so i went very very light pressure i i took i know i was using the turbo but that's okay if you sort of keep your distance uh, and i kept my distance because uh it just wouldn't it just couldn't take it so um what i've done is just spray it all with chemical well i've brushed it with chemical as you saw me do and that is now dead anything that's living on there is now dead and that will just wear away over time so oh dug this over as well or I'll make that look nice as well while I'm there so yeah that's looking nice pillars that wall's looking much better again not perfect um, but the chemical will work its magic over the next few weeks right driveway that's looking good Really nice. No black spot anywhere by the looks of it. I'm almost certain there's none. I can't see any. This has come up nice down here. All those edges, all those um, concrete borders, they've come up like new. Fence is looking nice. No more green. Lovely. As suspected, that didn't come off. No chance. Anyway, right. That's me done, people, because the customer has decided they want to sand it themselves, which is fine by me. Gives me um, a nice early day and some time to go and sort out some much needed paperwork. Anyway, thank you guys. Um, I'll see you on the next one.